Well, today what I've done is I have these bell cranks installed for the mixer. I have the flap motor permanently installed with the exception of this bolt back here. I can't adjust this arm, this, adjust, this rod end right here until I build the flaps to flapper runs for the wings. So that'll just be there for now. But I have that installed on both sides. I have installed the um, bushing for the torque tube that goes back to the flap arons. These little guys right here will go like so. Connect there, connect there, and there with rod ends. So that when I move the stick, it will move the flaps and uh, the flap of runs, and then I can operate the flap motor and it will become flaps and ailerons at the same time there by flapper runs. So I have the stick in just for now. There's a bushing that goes in there. You can see it's kind of sloppy, but a, a, a bushing will go in here and that'll tighten that up. Tomorrow I will paint these arms, get them ready to, to go ahead and put those in. I will move this out a little bit. I will um, drill these to be riveted to these holes here. And then this support gets bolted to these to these. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and I'll I'll uh, put these up here. I'll draw a center line, but really what I'll do is I'll clamp these together and then I'll mark from the back uh, where the holes are and I'll drill a couple of those on the drill press. And I'll clico those in and then once I do that I can final drill them. And then once I get that in, uh, before I rivet those, I'll just clico those. Once I get those in, I'll drill the bolts that go in here I can't really see for this clamp. I'm going to take this clamp out. It's going to make a big noise. Oh, maybe not. So what I'll do is I'll drill right here uh, to bolt this to that, and then I'll do the same thing on the other side. But I'll use I'll use this support as the, as a jigging fixture to to drill here and there. And once I get that pilot drilled, then I can just final drill it. So um, I'll do that. I <laughs> I painted this mixer tube and it came out so good and I painted this torque tube it came out so good I painted this stick the only thing you can see and the paint ran these were smooth never be seen so I had to let this dry and sand it and repaint it so it's it's not too bad it's rubber here and then it gets a cover there and you'll only see this much of it and I guess I could put a big old boot on it if I wanted to do that so but that's so far down the road um, I have my rudder pedals came in I uh, had ordered <laughs> two rights so Joyce sent me neither left so I have the right and the left and I have the, the, the bracket the brackets that go down here that hold the master cylinders in and the slave cylinders so um, I'll get those in too so, let's see, I don't know if I mentioned it's over 100 degrees in the hangar. It's 5 o'clock, and I'm hot. I'm going upstairs. It's uh, pool night tonight, so the guys will be coming over for playing pool. We're going to have a whoop de doo I'm going to go upstairs, have a cold cerveza, a shower, four or five more cold cervezas, and just go from there. So, anyway. Oh, let me just, one more thing I want to show you. This is... Uh, my other project, um, I'm, I'm making a break. Um, let's see if I can get over here. Let's see. She, it's a sheet metal break. It's an aluminum break. Um, what I'll do is I'll notch out the metal right here, the steel, turn these over on both sides so that the center line of the hinge is more on the center line of the joint here. And what, well, what that will do is that will make it so that I don't have that much gap there. It'll bring it a lot closer, make the bins a lot sharper. Um, 
So I'll trim this off with my chop saw and I'll turn these over, cut these notches. I'm going to weld these in with my welder. And Charlie bought me a, a really expensive MIG welder a while back. I may as well use it for something. I know this is zinc, but I'll hold my breath while I'm, while I'm welding it, I promise. So, um, and then I'll put a piece on the top here, as you know, then, then when you bend, bring that up, it makes the bend. So, I do all that because I'm going to have to remake these things, except I think I told you in an earlier video without all those holes. So, I'm just going to make some, uh, like, two by two, two by two plane, put it in here, bend it, make an L, and... Um, so there, I had all, this is all stuff I had hanging around the hanger. I did have to buy the hinges. I don't know how much they were. Charlie ran downtown and bought them there. Probably $5 a piece. So a little bender like this will do anything that I ever need to bend. So there you go. That's it. I'll uh, keep you posted tomorrow.